Hello everyone, this is Alison on YouTube and today I'm going to review my Gold Arkham deck half, half like cracked if you will um, I'm just going to hold it hold it up with the gold, with the black Arkham deck as well so you can, so you can see the colours there um, you know it looks, it looks really nice I think um, <coughs> I'll show you the back so so you know you can see the difference in the colour there. I think that's pretty cool that. Um, anyway, let's talk about the box. Um, on the black gold art and deck where this spike going through the middle would be white, that's gold. You've got some the gold ribbons down the bottom there. And the way playing cards is in gold as well. Um, on the right hand side of the box um, it just says air cushion finish made in the USA. There isn't much gold on there. Um, but where it says Arkham playing cards, I'll just get the black, the black one. Um, you know, you can see the gold, like ribbons around there that like they've kind of like picked those out a lot in this one. I mean, you can't really see them on the black deck. You've got to really, really look for them. But you know, they've made them really obvious in the gold Arkham deck. Um, the top of the box doesn't say anything, as with the black gold Arkham deck. Um, and the bottom of the box, there's no gold there. It just says illusionist, like it does in the black gold arc and in the black arc and deck. Um, <clears throat> it comes with the same kind of seal as the black arc and deck. Um, the one on the white arc and deck is different because that one's actually got a border. But um, you know, time to show you the back though. Again, the back's really, really nice. You know, just with, with that like extra tint of gold in it, it just makes it look so much nicer and elegant than the than the black arc and deck. But <coughs> it's that time once again to get the old trusty switchblade out. Um, let's just see how I can do this. There we go. In we go. Ooh, I, th I think I killed the box a little bit. No, I didn't. Good. I didn't kill the box there. It's a good thing. There we go. Cellophane. Um, I'll just put that away. Safety first and everything. And I'll just show you the it with the cellophane off, so you can maybe you can see it a bit better. I don't think you can. There's the cellophane off anyway. Um, this I actually bought. Um, if you've seen me November package um, video, um, I actually thought this the gold arcan deck would, would come with that lot but it didn't because he doesn't ship them like BM Poker World where I got this off doesn't ship them together um, but uh, you know so this came on its own four days you know after I ordered it which is really good timing um, just press that down a little bit um, and hopefully we're not going to we're not going to kill the um, the box with a switchblade here. Here goes breaking the seal on the gold arc and deck, ladies and gentlemen. Just in and out, perfect. Mwah. Love this thing, especially when I don't kill my cards with it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the gold arc and deck. I'm opening it. Um, I'm taking out the cards. Oh, nice, nice. I think I. Missed one there. There we go. I just put the box down there. Um, and hopefully you will be able to see the gold more, bec like with this actually being, you know, not cellophane. There we go. That's gorgeous. That that is a gorgeous back. Um, right. Just put those at the back. Because we're not ready to do those yet. Oh, nice! It's got quite a quite a bit of stuff on it, but whatever. Um, we'll talk about the extra cards first. Um, you get your regular illusionist card, but this, you know, it's made out in gold. Um, that's that's that looks really cool, actually. Um, I think I prefer it in the white arc and deck, and I've, I've got to be honest, I was a little unfair to the, the white arc and deck when I reviewed that, um, you know, because I, I, I do like it, 
you know, I didn't mean to give that impression, it's just, you know, that, that's gorgeous, that, now go, that's that one, um, and then you get your double back gaff card, uh, that, that is just fantastic, that, um, <clears throat> you know, I love the double back gaffs, um, right, let's have a look at the joker S cards, um, it's pretty much the same really, you know, except you've, you know, you've got your gold there as well. It doesn't seem as obvious in the in the Joker S cards there. Um, and we've got the same reveal on the other one. And um, the Three of Hearts reveal there. That looks that looks brilliant. Yeah, sorry about the this glary bit of light up here. Um, but like I say, I wanted to I wanted to show you the shimmer of the gold. Um, I'll just move those along a bit more, yeah, so I can fit them all in. And they're going up at a funny angle again. Yeah, I've, 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 I've sat here for hours trying to get a good camera camera angle for you. Um, gotta admit, I'm I'm a little bit disappointed at the. And at, at, I, I mean, I'm not disappointed in the deck because it's a gorgeous deck and it. You know, it handles really well. I'll, sh I'll show you the rest of the cards, by the way. Um, there's the Ace of Spades, just like the front of the box. Um, you know, that looks that looks like it looks really nice, that and beautiful and elegant. And look at that. Um, oh, there, that that was nice. Let's see if we can get that better. There we go. That's the Ace of Spades, anyway. Um, um, the cards that would be black in this deck, oh no, yeah, the cards that would be black in this deck all have gold um, pips, so there's your spades. Um, the, court, the court cards look brilliant actually. Um, <clears throat> I think they've actually done something different with this one, and uh, where they took some detail out of the court cards, you know, it's, they kept it really nice and simple. Um, I, qu I quite like it in the Gold Arkham deck. Um, I didn't expect I would, but, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. I think this is really nice, actually. Um, yep, can't fault this deck, like. Um, okay, so I'll just put the Ace of Spades back there. And your red cards, um, they're just, they're more or less the same. But, um, oh, that's different. Um, there's your diamonds there. They've they've still got some red on them. Um, personally, I think that looks a bit naff, but you know, um, the court cards are, are all gold as well. There's no red in the court cards there. Um, they look really cool, actually. The Queen of Diamonds looks pretty nice there. She looks nice and blah, nice and bright. Um, Let's have a look at the the clubs. Yeah, the clubs are pretty much the same as the as the spades. You know, they've got the gold um, pips there. Um, got a sale like that, and the hearts and um, court cards are the same. And of course, they've got the the red ink in them as well. That's pretty cool. Um, like I say, I mean, like I said before, I was a bit disappointed, and that's only because the the side of the deck, um, if you can see that white there, that's not an effect of the light or anything. They're actually, they're actually, you know, chapped. It's kind of like they've been shaven, like they had a hard time cutting them when they were, when this deck got cut. Um, but having said that, you know, you know, you can you can see you can see it really badly there. But having said that, you know, I'd say that that's probably only going to happen a few times, you know. Um, that might have just have been on, on this one, so, you know. Um, and this deck fans beautifully. Um, it smells like, um, you, know, you, you can tell it's a new air cushion finish because it's, it, it's got that, it's got that new air cushion finish um, smell about it, you know. It, it definitely doesn't feel like the other two decks. Um, definitely doesn't feel like the black and white deck, I'll just keep them there. Um, 
you know, if you if you've got the the Alchemy deck um, and the Ant Stalks collection deck and um, the Carnival Dead Eyes deck, you know, that's what this deck smells like, and that's the kind of it's the same kind of stock as well, pretty much. Um, you know, like this this one feels a lot more solid than the Black Arkham deck does because the black and white gold arkham deck um, I find they feel a lot more materially and they actually smell like an old UV 500 airflow finish but this one doesn't this actually this has got quite a you know this does just smell like a it smells like an air cushion finish the new air cushion finish that they're putting on all the decks at the minute um, and I noticed something the day um, about me white centurions this is just like this is irrelevant to this deck but the white centurions deck i noticed that actually smells like a like an old uv 500 airflow finish as well so i don't think that's an air cushion finish like i, I don't know if you want if you know what i mean by smell but like you know like the smells really prominent in some decks um you know anyway let's see what this deck can do yeah that's brilliant you know it dribbles really well um Ribbon spreads amazingly. You know the, the yeah. The, I've got to say I like these cards, um, and just like the white arc and deck, um, I'm going to give it a five out of six. Um, it's a brilliant deck. Um, you know it is expensive. It, um, Illusionist put this out, and when they made it, they only printed five thousand of them. Um, so, but like I think they're going pretty cheap at the minute. But mine was really expensive. Um, cost is about like 180 quid. Um, I don't know how much that is in dollars, but you can you can Google dollars to pounds, um, and then reverse it, kind of thing. Um, but uh, other things I've got to just to point out, and um, the the face design, as you can see, it's a it's a triplicate squeezer face design. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try and put like that into me reviews. You know, it's a triplicate squeezer de design, so you can read your cards when you squeeze them together. And uh, it's a two-way back um, and two-way face design as well. Well, unless you get to your odd cards like your fives and your sevens and your nines. Um, but yeah, gold arc and deck. I'm going to give it a five out of six. Just like the white gold arc and deck. Um, if you like me, if you like the video, I um, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions? Don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.